Hi everyone, I'm Sean Frangella, and in this Photoshop quick tip, we're gonna talk about the new grain options for your Blur Factory in the update for Photoshop CC 2015 update. Here I have this photo of myself, and I've isolated me with the idea that maybe I want to throw just the top of this background out of focus and kind of manipulate this photo a little bit. So if I get my marquee rectangle, I'll add some feathering, select this, and I just wanna make this background a bit out of focus. There's some new updates to push that a little further and make it a little more believable. What I can do is go to Filter Blur Gallery and pick any of these, so I'll just pick Field Blur. And now I can change the blur amount that's being added, and the new option is this noise. So if we're adding a blur, we might wanna get a little bit of noise, and we can change what that noise looks like. And if I zoom in here, we can really see how that's adjusting as part of the blur. So if we're editing a photo, we might wanna add in some Gaussian noise or uniform noise just to make it feel like it's believable and accurate. And then if I click apply, it's gonna apply that blur to my selection. And I can use that for all sorts of stuff. So it looks like I'm popping out a little too much from the background. If I wanted to fix that on this layer, I could command click to grab a selection and go to select modify border and I'll use a width of eight, go to okay. And if I wanna add that same blur to just the edges here, I can go to filter blur gallery, which was my last one or command F and it's gonna apply that same thing where it'll add the blur and the grain and soften the edges. So it feels a little bit more like I'm falling into the background there. So there's some new useful updates in our blur gallery to add noise and grain into just our blur selections. It's a really useful new feature. And if you wanna learn more about other new features, you can check out some of my other quick tip videos on additional Photoshop features by clicking on any of those buttons. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get even more motion graphics, Photoshop, 3D animation, and VFX tutorials sent every week. You can also find me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella if you want to ask questions or interact on the social networks. And if you want to help keep my tutorials going, you can check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash Sean Frangella where you can get all sorts of bonus content by supporting my show. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video. If you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often, you can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash Sean Frangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash Sean Frangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at Sean Frangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see See you at the next video.